Well, hello folks. I've uh, been asked recently about my latest processing regime. So I spent the weather sucks outside. So I figured I'd uh, do a quick uh, video on my processing, my, or my latest processing. And I'm doing it with NGC 4395, which is my latest uh, image that I took. It's a small dwarf spiral galaxy in Canis Venici. So I figured it would be a good time to do that. I'm still waiting for my Celestron Edge 8. Uh, I have ordered a bunch of other stuff to go along with it. So far I got my Hyperstar that I wasn't planning on getting for quite a while, but I, since I'm still waiting on the telescope, I might as well uh, get that. And I've also ordered an adapter so I can hook up my 200 millimeter lens to this camera here as well. So. I've got a lot of other things in the works while I'm waiting for this uh, Edge 8. Anyways, I'm Kurt Zepatello and you're watching AstroQuest 1. Alright, before getting started with this uh, processing, let me just tell you a little bit about the video. It's a quick video, but it's very thorough. I sped it up and I've sectioned it off too for every uh, step along the way. And I'll attach a written copy so you can download it. Uh, I'll put a link on the, in the comments section to my uh, uh, website where you can view it. Yeah, and just a couple other things. Uh, I use PixInsight and I use Photoshop. I know a lot of people, PixInsight purists out there are cringe when they hear somebody using Photoshop. And there's probably some Photoshop experts out there that oh, what do you need anything else for? But anyways, that's what I do for uh, right now. And my processing has changed throughout the years. It's not static and I expect it to change and keep changing for years to come. Also, the beginning of the video, which starts off with the PixInsight portion, that's pretty much standard. I, I do the stuff in, the, in PixInsight for pretty much all of my objects. But when I get to the Photoshop portion, I do a little a twist here, a, a, a dash there, a pinch there. It's, it's all over the place. So I put in some of the stuff I do, but it's no particular order. Sometimes I go back into PixInsight and do some stuff. So it's really quite variable. And it's that way because, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll process in an object and I do a great job and I'm, I'm really happy and proud and say, oh, I think I found the, 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 the routine. And then I'll go do it on another object and it bombs. So yeah, like I said, it's all a bunch of play when I get to that uh, point. Anyways. Let me take you to it and here it goes. 